Chartered trustees, officers, ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the Mayor of Paul. Good afternoon, everybody. Please be seated. I'd like to welcome distinguished guests and Charter Trustees to this meeting of the Pool Charter Trustees and to the press and members of the public. In order to ensure the meeting is managed effectively, please could everyone follow these ground rules for speaking. If you wish to speak, please raise your hand physically to indicate. Where there appears to be consensus in the meeting for a motion, I will ask if there is any dissension. When a formal vote is required, this will be carried out by a show of hands. Charter trustees are advised that there is no live stream of this meeting. However, it will be recorded via the 360 degree camera and uploaded following the meeting. Before we start the business on the agenda, as you know, the Charter Trustees is a non-political body with the primary objective being to maintain and promote <laughs> being to maintain and promote the historic and ceremonial traditions of Poole. I am keen that we all work together to maintain this objective. We'll now move to agenda item number one, apologies. I will ask the acting Henri Clark to report the apologies received for this meeting. Apologies have been received from the following to date. Councillors Broadhead, Brown, Burton, Butt, Dorton Gibson, Harmon, Le Pedivin, Maidment, Matthews, Rampton, Sidaway, and Waite. Thank you. We'll now move to agenda item number two, declarations of interest. Henri Clark, can you report on any declarations of interest received? None received to date. Thank you. We now move to agenda item three, freedom of pool for HMS Catastock. The Royal Navy has always had a proud history of service in pool. And in May 2010, the former borough of Poole officially adopted HMS Catastock as their ship, a recommendation made by former Mayor of Poole, Reverend Charles Meachin, and a position that the officers and crew are proud of and have fully embraced. In the last decade, Poole has enjoyed a close working relationship with their ship, not just with the former council, but they have also forged strong links with several of our town's uniformed youth and veteran groups, with the ship's company attending as many events in Poole as they have been able to support. The officers and crew have also regularly supported our annual service of remembrance and proudly paraded through Poole Park when it has been operationally possible. Last year, the commanding officer arranged for HMS Catastock to be alongside Pool Quay to ensure the entire ship's company would be in attendance and take part in the remembrance event. Whilst in Pool for the weekend, the officers and crew also hosted visitor, visits from Pool Sea Cadets, the RNLI lifeboat volunteers, local veteran associations and a sailing club which shows their commitment to fully engage with the community and residents of Pool. Given this commitment and dedication of the officers and crew to our town for the last 13 years, I would like to propose that we make the arrangement formal by admitting the officers and crew of HMS Catastock, Freedom of the Town of Poole, to honour their bravery, commitment and dedication so willingly given to our nation and also their commitment and proud association to be the adopted ship of the town of Poole, and the commitments made not only to the former council, 
now Poole Charter Trustees, but also to the benefit of the residents of Poole, which is so greatly appreciated. I call upon Councillor Pete Miles to second my proposal. Yes, I'd like to second this motion and thank you all for attending today. Thank you. Would any other Charter Trustees like to say a few words? Okay, we will take the vote. Those in favour? Thank you. Those against? Any abstentions? Okay. Thank you, that is unanimous. Under section 249 of the Local Government Act 1972, I am pleased to grant the officers and crew of HMS Catterstock honorary freedom of the town of Poole in recognition of their eminent contribution to the communities and residents of Poole. The acting town clerk and I will now sign the freedom certificate. Thank you. I will now hand over to the Lord Lieutenant of Dorset, Sir George uh, Zambulis. Mayor, councillors, uh, trustees. Um, I have a great privilege to say a few, very few words to acknowledge the extraordinary privilege that's just occurred. I stand before you in three capacities. First <coughs> capacity is I represent our Lord Lieutenant as one of his Deputy Lieutenants. The second capacity is as an ex-First Sea Lord, I remain in uniform on behalf of the service and I'm privileged to be occupying that position today. And the third is that I'm a former commanding officer of HMS Catterstock. So all the dents in the ship are not mine. I do know, having spoken to the ship's company and to the current commanding officer, what a privilege they're going to find your decision today. And to bind the ship with personal connections and professional connections to the town of Poole, and of course to Dorset, is a great privilege. On behalf of all of them, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I will now close this meeting.